All right, second violin. This is our training video for Carol the Bells, God rest you, married gentlemen. Uh, traditionally, and then this is arranged by uh, Matt Riley. Okay, so as we take a look here, we're going to notice that we've got, let me check the balance on this, it doesn't look too strange. Um, we have no sharps or flats all the way through up to rehearsal six at measure 97, and then we get two sharps. We go from the key of C to the key of D. Now, another thing to kind of look at here that's probably going to concern you is we have m double parts there at 27, okay, and uh, that's supposed to be divided, okay, at 30, those are divided, two different parts, okay, uh, when we get to 41, there's two different parts there to divide, stems down, inside person, stems up, outside person, and again, at, at measure, or rehearsal 5, okay, the top's going the simple... <laughs> bottom, off the string, okay, um, divided all the way through, okay, we have the, uh, the measure 95, let's take a look at that one, because we have an E, G sharp, and then we have an A sharp, okay, so either the three, 3-3, three, three, which might be a way to go, or shift there. Have to check with your teachers, see which way would work best for you. Okay, so um, at the beginning here, we have a 6-8 meter. Okay, so we're going along. 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, Probably be fingered and then divide apart. Two, three, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, all the way through. Let's fast forward a little bit. Twenty four. Here's the bottom part. Okay, so at 20, at 30, we have. And I would suggest using a half step four to get to that because you've been using a low two. The bottom part is. Next measure. Two, three. big day crescendo, okay, and then a big crescendo coming up where the part splits at 40. Bottom people, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Top people, two, three, two, three, two, three, three. Now you really got to use a fourth finger there. Make life easier for your bowing. Watch that chromatic scale there going into three from an F natural, sharp, G, sharp, okay, all right, next section where we come in, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, those are duple, one, two, three, Person. Right here in the balance point of your bow, okay, not in the middle, but the 
balance point. Okay, the bottom part. Two, three, four, five, six. Tricky to kind of watch there. Okay, let me fix this. It's going nuts on me. Sorry. Uh, at five, the bottom people are going. Okay, sets of six. Top people. Again, use uh, either fourth finger or shift to second position. Okay, with three, two, three, one. All right. Now we're at major eighty-eight. Two, three, two, three, two, three, and two, three, two, three, two, three. Okay. A sharp. We're getting ready for a key change, so that's a little bit of a curveball. All right, now we're at rehearsal six. Okay. Rehearsal six, we have the key of D major. Nice pattern. Now, right here, I would just keep the same finger combination, go right to third position. Different finger pattern, but the same finger pattern, same sort of series that you're using of three, three, two, three, one, one. All the way through that. Okay, then we have that divide again. Two, three, two, three, two, three, and two, three, two, three, two, three. Oops. Now, that A sharp is kind of catching me uh, off guard there <clears throat> at uh, 109. And it works better to use a fourth finger. Okay, um, it's not our favorite, but it, it sure beats going back because it was clumsy going back, as you could tell from listening to what I was doing. Okay, and uh, again, we have that little chromatic scale, which is just like the one in the major before three. Then at seven, okay, we have. And then shift up to third position, two measures, and... <laughs> 